Sioux City's Gordon Drive Viaduct is more than 80 years old, and the Iowa DOT is now planning for a major renovation. But it's still years from happening. And in the meantime, KCAU 9 reporter Nick Wilson tells us that some business owners are already planning ahead for possible disruptions. It's our top story tonight at 10. The viaduct reconstruction project was paused after last year's public meeting, and local business owners say the project would create a major obstacle for their stores. The Gordon Drive viaduct is nearly 4,000 feet long, and thousands of Siouxlanders travel across it every day. Saul Morales with T-Mobile says construction on the viaduct could disrupt the store's daily flow of customers. There might be a big buildup of people that might build up within those traffic lines. It could affect us and it could probably hit us all at once or it can probably make us less busy. And, you know, us here, we like to be as busy as possible. We don't like just standing around doing nothing. We like to stay as busy as possible. Morales says foot traffic is important to the company because employees can only do so much over the phone. They have to verify their ID and they have to verify their identity in order to, for us to even get into account is because we respect their privacy and that's our policy as well. The only people that can get into their accounts via the phone would be customer service. Jeff Brick is the general manager of Aaron's in Sioux City. He says while he's confident customers will find a way to get around the construction, the project will be a difficult hurdle for many businesses. We have a lot of retail stores around us uh, that uh, I could certainly see that would lose some traffic, um, some of that uh, foot traffic, just because of the inconvenience of finding an alternate route to this part of town. Dakin Schultz is a transportation planner with the Department of Transportation. He says the DOT is still discussing possible alternatives for the viaduct, which will have a major influence on the project's timetable. Um, you know, some, certainly if we were looking at replacing the bridge with a bridge, you know, we estimated that the, the bridge construction, depending on the strategy we utilize to build, could be uh, over two years. Schultz says Siouxlanders have an opportunity to learn more about the project when the Transportation Commission holds a public meeting in Sioux City in August. Nick Wilson, KCAU 9 News.